Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coralie and today I'm going to be jumping on a trend on time, which is insane seeing as I literally did the following a James Charles makeup tutorial a year after it was a trend. But I have noticed that doing your makeup in alphabetical order has kind of become a trend and I think that is kind of hilarious because I have a very obvious way that I like to do my makeup and alphabetical order is definitely not that way. So I've written down everything that I do. This is a full face of makeup, including lipstick, and I never wear lipstick, so that's weird. But we're gonna get straight into it. So the very first thing in my makeup routine at the start of the alphabet is B for blush. And Blush is generally something that goes on top of foundation, and F is a heck of a lot lower than B. Me trying to convince you that I know what I'm talking about. So we're going to start with blush, and I'm going to do the same sort of trick that James tried to do in his video, where he put it on quite heavily, so hopefully it comes through the foundation, which I have a feeling it's not going to do that. Oh my god, I look sunburnt. Cute. <laughs> I don't normally wear much blush, but if I didn't put blush on, it would be a pretty boring video. Just dropping some truth bombs, baby. Okay, so that is disgustingly heavy and I look scary. So straight under blush is bronzer. So I have the Hoola bronzer here and I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to do it quite heavy so that hopefully it comes through the foundation, which I have a feeling it's not going to but that's okay. I'm also not a huge bronzing person because I just don't really know what I'm doing, but that's okay. Oh my God, I look disgusting. This is why we do makeup a certain way because this just doesn't work very well. Okay, now I look freaking crazy. What's next? A, B, C, concealer. Okay, so after concealer comes curl lashes. So now my lashes are curled, we're on to the letter E. And the first thing in the letter E is eyebrows. And let's not talk about how disgustingly old this eyebrow kit is. This has been a hand-me-down from my sister, which may have even been a hand-me-down from my mother. It's very old, but it gets the job done, so that's okay. One day I will upgrade my eyebrow product, but today is not that day. <sighs> so after eyebrows, we move on to eyeshadow and I'm going to use the James Charles palette because we need to promote the man who started this trend. I mean, I don't really know what look I'm going to go for, maybe a orangey yellow look because I've never really done anything like that before and if we're going to experiment today's the day to do that so that's what's going to happen apparently just do that windscreen wiper motion heck yeah maybe a little bit of a oh, you're kidding do like a sunset look you feel me So that is apparently the eyeshadow look we're going for. I don't even know anymore. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, foundation. Thank God for foundation because that means that we get to cover up this blush. So I'm gonna take a pump of the Peach Perfect foundation and just cover up all my mistakes. Not too bad. There is a 90% chance that no matter how this turns out, I'm going to wash it off straight after this video. But, you know what, it's not too bad. The blush is kind of coming through a little bit and it's not disgustingly hot pink anymore. So, that's nice. Actually, the eyeshadow is kind of cute. I kind of like it. I guess I'm just unleashing my inner artist. <laughs> She's not very artistically talented, but she's trying, you know, and that's what matters. I mean, you can kind of see a tiny bit of blush still. 
Okay, so after foundation is my most favorite step ever in makeup and that is highlighter. So I always put a super bright highlighter in my inner corners under my eyebrow bone, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And then I put a more normal highlighter on my cheekbones. So let's do that. Where's my brush? Here she is. Okay. God, I love highlighter. If I could have only one makeup product, it would probably be highlighter. It's just something about it. As Mia Maples would say, I will boop the nose. Boop. And now we will highlight the cheekbones. Next is liner. And I'm really glad that eyeliner comes before mascara. <sighs> Should liner have been L for liner or E for eyeliner? I didn't even think about that until editing, but maybe it should have been E. That would have made it more of a challenge because I would have had to have done eyeliner before eyeshadow. So we're gonna do a wing because we love a wing on this channel. Not a chicken wing. <laughs> I, I don't know where that joke was going. That was a vegetarian joke, by the way, if you didn't get it. Nobody cares. So next is lipstick. And like I said, I'm not really a lipstick person. Like I don't like the feeling of things on my lips that isn't a lip balm. But I do have this Born to Run lipstick in the shade Comfort Matte. No, 66. I don't know. It's, I just like the packaging. Did I buy it simply because of the packaging? There's a very high chance that I did for someone that doesn't really wear lipstick. But we're doing a full face here and lipstick comes after liner. So let's do it. I just hate lipstick. Oh my god. Oh, she's a frosty berry today. We love that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Mascara time, baby. We've already curled our lashes, so we can't do that again. We're going to go straight into throwing our mascara, apparently. We're going to go straight into mascara. Mascara is something I used to hate when I was younger. Like I'd do um, a winged eyeliner, but then I'd never put mascara on because of the way my eyes are, I always get mascara up here throughout the day and it looks ridiculous. So my way of solving that problem was to just not wear mascara. Okay, so finally we get to put on some powder and set our foundation. I'm not a hugely oily person, so it's not the end of the world that it took so long to put powder on. But I mean, I would have liked to have set my concealer and preferably I wouldn't want to put powder on top of a highlighter, but that's okay. We're going to ruin this even more because <sighs> after powder comes primer, which is what you should be doing first. And we're doing it last. So I have three different kind of primers here. I have professional primer. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. I'm gonna put a little bit of the blur stick on and some cooling water. So we're gonna start with the cooling water, which will go perfectly on top of concealer and powder. Oh, love that for me. Okay. Then we're gonna put a little bit of the blur stick. Cause again, that just works perfectly on top of foundation and powder. And lastly, we're gonna put some professional on because that's just what this makeup look needs. Some primer on top of foundation. So up close it looks a bit ratchet, but from far away it's not too bad and maybe you wouldn't be able to tell that this was done in alphabetical order. So the last thing on my list is the last thing that I want to do and that is to set this makeup look because we really want to keep this on our face all day. We really don't. I'm going to wash this off anyway but for the sake of this video, S is for setting spray. <laughs> because I really want this set on my face. <coughs> 
So this is my makeup done in alphabetical order and although it wasn't very practical it was kind of fun to mix it up a little bit and in all honesty it's not that bad like I've still got a bit of a glow going I've got mascara okay I blink too hard when I put on eye setting spray that's lovely but I do kind of like the eyeshadow it's a bit of like a sunset red orange yellow look and I'm kind of into it and I guess the lipstick isn't all that bad so am I ever gonna do this again absolutely not I am 100% gonna stick to the way I used to do it which is foundation concealer primer first definitely not blush and bronzer first but this was a fun little challenge and I really hope you enjoyed it I put out new videos every week subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more I've got my dinosaur merch link down below be sure to check that out if you're interested and I'll see you next time bye guys she leaves a fern in the middle of every dark